I'm telling you what it feels like. Richard Walker moans, is it possible that now, after all these years, he can understand us? Doubtful. Still an interesting idea. How do we speak in creaks and whispers, in groans and shudders? But you know, you've heard us, you simply don't understand. The day nurse is in the bathroom preparing Richard's pills, although she must know, we all do, that they can't help him now. The bedroom smells like cough syrup, sweat, and the sharp animal scent of urine like an old barn. The sheets haven't been changed in three days. So what do you think, Sandra presses, home or in the hospital? I like making bets with Sandra. It breaks up the space, the long, watery hours, the soupiness of time. Day is no longer day to us, and night no longer night. Hours are different shades of hot and warm, damp and dry. We no longer pay attention to the clocks. Why should we? Noon is the taste of sawdust and the feel of a splinter under a nail. Morning is mud and crumbling caulk. Evening is the smell of cooked tomatoes and mildew. And night is shivering and the feel of mice sniffing under our skin. Divisions, that's what we need. Space and lines. Your side, my side. Otherwise, we begin to converge. That's the greatest fear, the danger of being dead. It's a constant struggle to stay yourself. Hospital, I say at last. I'll bet you he croaks right here in that bed, Sandra says, gleeful. Sandra is wrong. Richard Walker does not die at home, thank God. I've shared the house with him for long enough. For a time, the house falls, falls into quiet. It's ours again, mine and Sandra's. Its corners are elbows, its stairways are skeleton pieces, splinters of bone and spine. In the quietness, we drift. We reclaim the spaces that Richard colonized. We must regrow into ourselves, clumsily, the way that a body after a long illness still moves and fits and shivers. We expand into all five bedrooms. We hover in the light coming through the windows with the dust and spin, dizzy in the silence. We slide across empty dining room chairs, skate across the well-polished table, rub ourselves against the oriental carpets, curl up in the impressions of old footprints. It's both a relief and a loss to have our body return to us intact. We have, once again, successfully expelled the other. We are free. We are alone. We place bets on when the young walkers will return. Thank you.